hey guys, first time you get to see me, your host, your guest, your teacher, Mr. Rossi. Guys, for today's awesome adventure in art with me, you're gonna get to do Yo, 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 Velociraptor. A long, 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 long time ago, before the wind, before the snow, lived the freak of nature named Raptosaur. And he gonna eat you. All right, guys, let's get, before, before we get started, I'd like to show off a little bit of art from the students that get to give this to me. And I'm excited to show you guys. Little Miss Juliana did this awesome, and if I can get this tape off of her, Velociraptor. Okay, if you guys are able to get me your drawings, I love to show them off. You can see hers illustrated beautifully, made me a little jelly that it looks better than mine, all right? A little, maybe we can do a little side-by-side -side comparison right there, okay? Hers looks better than mine. And that is, that's some crayon in there. Juliana, man, you done killed it, girl. Uh, yeah, guys, beautiful stuff. I'm excited. You should be excited. Don't forget to subscribe to the Mr. Rossi channel, guys, so you can get more of these exciting adventures in art with me. And again, super easy, super fun. There's nowhere else on YouTube you'd rather be than with me. Let's get started. Get your pencil out. All right, guys, super easy. We're going to start right here on the left-hand side. And we're going to start with a nice little happy face like this. And I'm gonna take that happy face and give you another happy face going down right there. And next up, we're gonna go back to the top and we're gonna drop a little diagonal line. Look at that, looking pretty gangster. You're gonna come back, not at the bottom, but move your pencil up a little bit and draw a sad face. And since we're up here already, put a little triangle right here for the other side of the raptor's head. You're gonna put a little number one right here and then from the number one, you can draw a happy face to the other side. So you go like this, you put your pencil here, you draw a happy face all the way to the other side. And at the bottom of that happy face, or at the end of it rather, you wanna put a little sad face right there. Now you wanna put some teeth sizz from the back of the happy face all the way to the front using that nice sharp letter V. Guys, if you don't use a nice sharp letter V and take your time, how do you expect for your raptor to eat you that this don't make no sense. You got to, as a good raptor owner, you got to feed your raptor, and you feed your raptor by giving it good, nice, sharp teeth, and now it can eat you. Now we're gonna put a nice, happy face from the side of the mouth all the way till you touch a tooth. T-O-O-F, I'm even teaching you guys how to spell. Tooth. So a happy face all the way around till you touch that tooth. Now we're gonna do that face. And I'm gonna start with the nose, and the nose is just a circle, like you would do in the number 10. And you put a number Juana right there. And you put a letter C over here so you have the other side of the nose. I like to put a little sad face right up in here, totally for free, and it looks pretty gangster. Now for the eye, you wanna add a diagonal line, a happy face, and then the letter C. You see what I just did right there? I'm gonna put a little diagonal line right here because it's totally for free and it makes it look a little more detailed. And since I'm in the business of creating details totally for free, I'm gonna put a little happy face right show. And that looks pretty gangster. Take your pencil, put it here anywhere along the bottom of the jaw and let's draw the other side of the neck by doing a number one. Now the back of the body, we're gonna start right about here. You can even move it up a little bit if you want, but I'm gonna start right here at the bottom. I'm just gonna go happy face and stop. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go all the way downtown, Julie Brown, so I stop right there. And on the other side, we're gonna draw the, the first arm. And the first arm is super easy, guys. You're gonna start here on the side and you're just gonna go sad face one time, sad face two times. So I'm gonna go on this other side, sad face one time, sad face two times. And I'm gonna turn that one sad face at the bottom with one diagonal line, and now I got a claw. And if I go back there again and I do the letter V, I got another claw. And to close off that arm, if you put it here, you do the letter V again, you guessed it, you will have a completely done arm and claw. Now it's got like a little kind of like a thumb. All right, if you watch Jurassic Park, it opens the little doors. So you wanna do that, you wanna put a little letter V right there. 
The other arm, because it got two, two eyes, is two noses, bunch of teeth, and two arms. Okay? You want to go sad face again, sad face again. Don't forget that diagonal line. We can start those claws. Don't forget the letter V so we can start those claws. And you want to go ahead and close that with the letter V. Now, you don't have to add that thumb because it's, you know, it's on the other side, you know? Well, that doesn't make any sense there. But if you want to, because you're that kid that wants to add a little extra, you can make it come off the side over here, put a little, little letter V right there, and you got it. It looks pretty gangster. I like it. Now let's do those. Oh, wait, before we do the legs is, we got to close this bottom part off. Come on, Mr. Rossi, what you thinking? So come on with your chomper 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 and give yourself a little happy fine. But don't close it. Now those legs is, we're going to go like this. We're going to break it down into some easy steps. Let's just start here in the middle and just go a nice, big, happy face. Nice, big, happy face. You see that it closes that gap right there. I'm going to do the same thing here. One big, happy face. Okay? Now I want to go to the back, and I want to do the back so I can close it here and start forming it over here. That's two steps, guys. I'm going to go happy face and the number one. Happy face and the number one. And I'm going to bring that number one a little bit out with a horizontal line. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. And now I'm going to go happy face. Close it with the number one. Happy face. Close it with the number one. And I'll put a number 11. But I'm going to give it like a little sad face kind of a turn. A little sad face kind of a turn. You got those big claws down here too. You watch those the the Jurassic Park movies, and it goes cluck cluck on the on the on the ground on the tiles. So I'll put a nice big curvy letter V right there. And if you want to add one coming off the side over here, just go like that, and adding a little curvy one right there off the side. Now the tail, you're gonna start way up here. You're gonna go happy face all the way downtown, Julie Brown, and one last one on the other side, all the way down to Biscayne Boulevard till you reach home. Now the little details are just like the letter V or a triangle to create the little patterns. And I'm going to put a couple here in the back. I'll put one on the leg here and one on the leg over here. And one on the neck here and maybe two more on the neck there. Again, you can add as many as you like. I'm just adding, you could like say, oh, Mr. Ross, I want to put it on the arm. Go ahead and put it on the arm. Why not? It's your Raptor, not mine. This, this one's mine, but you got your own. Okay, all right. I'll make you one little thing I thought of was like putting a little detail here so he's like to close this off with a little happy face, a little happy face like that. That looks pretty nice. I like, oh, and the knees, just put some knees in there. Happy face, sad face, it's totally for free. It makes your drawing look a little bit more gangsters. All right, guys. Oh, you know what? I'll put one over here for the other side. That looks nice. Let's put a background because I can't have my Raptor just floating in the air like this. I wanna put a sad face and another sad face, okay? And the nice tall grass so the raptor can be hiding before it jumps out and eats you. So I'll put nice tall grass using the letter W. That's a W. W. Plus a couple little extra jumps just so that I have my grass nice and tall. All right. I'm just going to kind of put the patches in here. You can put little number ones if you want to give it some detail. And it just makes it look nice. I put some random number ones in there, you know. I'm going to come around all the channel. And add my number ones. Maybe put a little bit in there just to fill up that empty space. And one on these lines here. Again, to fill up that empty space. That looks pretty nice. Now I'm going to add a palm tree to the left. Palm tree is super easy, guys. Maybe you did it before with me. If you haven't checked out those other dinosaur drawings, the T-Rex or the uh, long necosaurus, the palm trees are in there too. So you go sad face, sad face. And from the bottom, you go happy face to the middle, but do not close it. See, I don't touch anything right there. Now from the bottom, I'm gonna overlap another sad face, another sad face, and I'm gonna go happy faces again to the middle. And then I'm gonna draw my line going all the way down until I touch the bottom, all the way down until I touch that grass. And I'm gonna get some happy faces up in there. And I'm gonna draw a sad face again, a sad face again with some number ones, just to add that detail that is totally free. Been looking pretty gangster. One more little piece for this awesome drawing. We're gonna put that volcano exploding right over chill. And you're gonna put a diagonal line right here with a happy face touching your raptosaurus and another happy face going in the other direction. 
and I draw happy faces for the lavava and another row of lavava vava. I also have like these um, ridges on the side of the mountain. That's just gonna be like a little pattern of small line, long line. It's a little pattern like that of small line, long line. Boom. And then I got the rocks like coming out of there. That's just gonna be like a long little line that's kind of shaky. And I put a little shadow down there and it's just like one line, two lines. Then I start to darken it in, boom. Same thing with this, we'll make this, this, this rock a little bit smaller. Start with like one line, bringing them closer together as you reach the bottom. I'll put maybe a couple little lines in there. And then I'll make them like another one, again, smaller, getting those lines a little bit closer as I reach the bottom of those little circles. Okay, and then there's some little diagonal lines shooting out like that with a little, you gotta do the sound effects because if you don't do the sound effects, you ain't gonna get the full effect. All right, and there you have that. And a little smoke jutting out of there as just some happy faces. Overlap some of that smoke, put some more up in here. Guys, there's your, don't forget, you gotta write your name down here on the bottom right hand side. A Mr. Rossi original. You put your name there, don't put Mr. Rossi. Unless you wanna put, you know, and Mr. Rossi, because we did this drawing together. So you got a beautiful, awesome, yo, 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 raptosaur from top to bottom, from left to right. You did pretty all right. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell for notifications for your next awesome adventure in art with your host, your guest, your teacher. This guy right here, Mr. Rossi. Until next time, guys, be excellent to yourselves.